ahead. It seems like we just did this a uh, couple days ago. Yes, we did after the RMA concert on Sunday. Right, right. Uh, wouldn't you like to have a band like this in school? I mean, well, wouldn't, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be wonderful? I'll tell you what, players. I think the Christmas spirit has come to the community band because I think this is one of the strongest performances you've done. Now, I don't know that much about band music other than, you know, I was in the Air Force band. Right. But um, I thought it sounded great, you know, considering everything. And it was really good, but it was strong. Sound was great. Perfect. We had a couple conductors that, you know, they were a little flaky, but other than that, I think I think everything went pretty good. So let's tell you what, what you, give me uh, your expression or something about the band tonight. What do you think? The band played exceptionally well, I felt. Uh, their bones in a nice Christmas spirit and playing very well. I think they did. They had a good Christmas spirit. Right. And they got you up there for a couple of them, too. Yeah, so. they did. I agree. The band did really, really well. Everyone had fun. I saw a lot of smiles, and especially in looking out in the audience, a lot of people looked like they enjoyed it as well. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I heard John say that uh, you're looking for new, some more band. You're always looking for members. We always do. I was talking to George Hotchkiss. He said he had to drop out about three weeks ago, but somebody stepped right in and picked right. up with the trombone. Right. So yeah. that's great. So who, what are you looking for now? What, what, what are your weekend? What instruments are you weekend? I don't know that we're weekend. Any John instrument. Do you use more? No, we, we have a huge horn section. So yeah, good, good. And you got a lot of bottom end. That's that's yes. that's always a hard, hard position to fill. You know, on the on the tubas and things. I don't believe we got to introduce our other. Our other no, conductors. let's go ahead and do that for Ron me. Ron Guy. Uh, Ron has been with the band since what? About 2000. Yeah, September 2000. Right. I seen you at the Fourth of July concert. Yes, we did. Yes, yes. yes. And then Ron, Ron's also uh, involved with the Riverton Winds of the Riverton United Methodist. So they just did a concert uh, last last week. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Sunday the night. And this is Kristen Fristo. And I, Kristen's an interesting story. She started playing with us when she was in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, she was the uh, drum major at Skyline High School. Went on to major in music at uh, Shepherd University. Right. Is back here teaching at uh, Leslie Fox Kaiser Elementary, helping with the Skyline Band, and is also back with the community band. Awesome. That's great. So, well, I, like I told you uh, the other day, and uh, the students we talked to, these people, your members, have taken their high school band and take or in college and just carried it with them their entire life. Yes, they have. And. Uh, my son, you know, was in the community band for for a while when he lived here, and he still plays a little bit. But you know, I tell you, my other daughter, she don't play at all. <laughs> we have, we have everything from high school students or, or right. post high school students. Two of my alumni from here at RMA right. are playing in the band tonight, and uh, right up through uh, Cradle to Grave. Some, some of us, some of us older guys. Yes, yeah. that's right. But I think, like I said before, I mean. The music is just something that you just take with you your whole life, and, just, and you can really see the spirit tonight in the band. I think they did a great job, yeah. great job. So what, what's planned for next year? Give us the band plans. Well, we, we have our, our summer season that starts, I don't have dates yet, but uh, starts the, usually the, about the second week in June. We'll do a couple of gazebo gatherings, right. and then uh, we have the annual Independence Day con uh, concert which this year is going to be back at the 4-H Center. Right. Uh, they've, they've got everything together for that. That's and it's good. going to be actually on uh, July the 5th. Okay. July the 5th at the Northern Virginia 4-H Center with fireworks. And uh, I'm assured it's going to be a, a really nice affair and we're, we'll be glad to be back there. All right, that's great, that's great. Well, we really appreciate everything you do for the community. I mean, the band is great. I think it helps bring people together. We had a good crowd. Everybody seems that I talk to just loves it. So keep up the good work and again, give us our thanks. And I appreciate the plug tonight, by the way. And I'm going to go back now and work on this and get it posted for in the morning. All right? Well, thank you, sir. Right, thank thank you. you. We want to thank the community for their kind donations to CCAP. Uh, yes. What did we say? $785? That's really good. That's like from the audience tonight. That's great. CCAP. I mean, CCAP could use it. I'm going to tell you. They do great work here. All right. Well, thanks again. Nice meeting you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.